It's Pepper Plant Tour Day. Today is July 18th, 2020, and we are going to do a pepper garden tour, and we'll see how things have grown since the last time. And we'll take a look especially at the caterpillar pepper. Remember what it looked like last time? <laughs> we'll see what it looks like now. I'm Gail, and welcome to my garden. So we'll go ahead and start off in the front yard with my um, Buena Mulata pepper. Now I've taken a ton of peppers off of this since the last video, and we've got lots more. I think I'll probably take off most of these peppers, oh, by the end of today and start drying them. Um, they have turned out to be very, very spicy has been fitting a cayenne pepper and this is going to be a favorite I can tell. And right next to my Buena Mulata I have my purple jalapeno plant. You can see I have one that's purple and then two that are red. I really need to pluck these and get the peppers going some more because the more you pick them the more you grow. This is my purple jalapeno. Here we go that this is the front yard banana pepper, so also called the Hungarian wax. Uh, this is a sweet pepper. I said last time that I wanted a lot of these to go ahead and uh, turn out to ripen some. And I got one ripe one so far off the plant. I'll um, see about overlaying a picture. But this one is still producing lots and I'll probably have to uh, take a few more peppers off of this one. I do find that the taste is better once they at least start to ripen and right now the rest of these don't show any sign of it but they are quite tasty once they're ripe so this is my sweet banana pepper in the front yard rounding out the front yard is my giuseppe pepper and you can see that let's see if we can get a good picture of it this is a pretty good sized pepper now i took three of them in on the last planting and i've got um, a couple more so those two and then this guy was the one that I left on the plant as you can tell He's just starting to ripen now. Let me tell you something about this plant even when the peppers are green They are super sweet So this is a great plant to plant Well, this is a great variety to plant if you like sweet peppers and you don't mind them being green now we're off to the side yard. Now this particular plant is one of my grocery store peppers. Again, the ones that I grew from seeds from the grocery store. I do see a pepper forming here. So here's my first bell. Now this plant is pretty darn big, but it has been very shy about actually setting fruit because although I've got plenty of buds and flowers, I don't have a whole lot of peppers yet. Next, we'll I'm going to take a look at its pot neighbor <laughs> and take a look at the peppers on this one. Now this is Thunder Mountain and I kept calling it something else in the last video, but it's Thunder Mountain and <laughs> the peppers are huge. I didn't have any except for maybe a few blossoms last time and there are a ton more. <laughs> I mean, I've got all kinds. Now, this is going to be a cayenne. It's supposed to be very hot. The peppers are going to be long, and they're going to be curly, as you can already tell. So I'm looking forward to tasting the peppers off of this one, Thunder Mountain. And it's pretty tall. So it's, it looks like it's going to be a big plant. Now, here we go with Bolivian Rainbow. Now, remember last time in the last video two weeks ago, I had this one lonely pepper on the plant? Well, as you can see, there are lots now. Lots and lots and lots. This plant doesn't show any signs of stopping its upward growth, nor does it show any signs of stopping its blossoms. I've got a ton. This plant will be especially spectacular once it gets to the point of having all different colors of peppers on the plant at the same time. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this is going to look like in the future. Bolivian Rainbow. In the five gallon pot right next to it is New Mex Suave Orange. Last time we had just a bunch of baby, baby, baby peppers. Now we've got a whole bunch of peppers on here. So lots and lots of peppers. Um, this, if it, you think that it looks like a habanero, you're absolutely correct. 
Although this one is supposed to be a no heat habanero, so you get to taste the flavor of the fruit, which is supposed to be citrusy, as opposed to just going ahead and uh, having the searing heat. So once again, this is New Mex Suave Orange. Here we go with the trick to you. I plucked off several of the peppers this past week. And as you can see, I've left two large ones so far on it. Well, I have a whole bunch of other little peppers coming. So I have this one in a five gallon container, grow back. And it's doing a whole lot better than I expected it to because in the very beginning, it didn't look like it was gonna live. But now it seems to be doing fine. So this is the first of my trick to you jalapenos. Now this is one of my grocery store peppers. These are the little tiny peppers that you get that are super sweet. And they very rarely have a lot of seeds in them, but I saved some. And now it looks like I'm getting some buds coming out. So this plant will be very interesting. I think I planted it, or I think I potted it up about two, two and a half weeks ago. So uh, this is going to be a uh, quite an interesting plant once I start seeing the fruit off of it, since undoubtedly the parent plant was a hybrid. We'll see what we get with these small grocery store peppers. Here we go with another one of my trick to use. So this one is in a different kind of grow bag. It's five gallon, but this one is probably, it's more like sitting in a three gallon. So it's getting pretty big. It's got a lot of peppers on it. And like I said, I didn't think the first plant was gonna survive. So I planted another. Well, it's producing peppers, so looks like I'll have plenty. Okay, here's Cascabella. Now I did what I said I was going to do last time and I thinned it out to two plants. So there's just two of them now in a five gallon container. I've got lots of peppers on them. I did give it a little fertilizing, so the the greenery is more green now. So um, these are supposed to be hot peppers. They're, um, I don't remember if they're rounder or they're kind of elongated, but it should be interesting to see what I get off of Cascabella. Now this one is another of my grocery store peppers. This is one of the larger bells. It's probably the orange one. and. It's the same. It's producing a lot of flowers, but not a ton of fruit. Matter of fact, I don't think I see even one real pepper on it. Just stuff that looks like it's been pollinated. So it's topped its four-foot pole. So this is a four-foot pole here, and it's a good bit beyond. Waiting to see what kind of fruit I get, get off of this uh, grocery store pepper. In the five gallon pot right next to it, I have Bill's Striped. Now this has gotten to be an interesting pepper. So you can see that it has an elongated shape, which is very interesting. And I have a bunch of these on some of the peppers. So I'm not sure if it's just an extra pepper that was trying to form or something else. I'll show you another pepper that uh, has basically the same thing. And you can see this one has a couple of them. Now this one looks like it may have some sun scald on it. So not sure. I'm going to take it off the plant today and see what's up. The rest of the peppers on the plant look like they're doing okay. So this is Bill's Striped and it's supposed to end up having stripes. Still in the side yard and this is my second sweet banana pepper. So it has several um, peppers on it. Uh, matter of fact, probably too many and I need to pluck some off. But it's producing now, it's starting to produce better than it did last time. And it probably didn't hurt that I fertilized it. Yes, um, I've been a bad uh, pepper mommy lately, I guess. But I did fertilize all the peppers, so they're all starting to do better now. But this is my second hot banana, or excuse me, not hot banana, sweet banana pepper. Here's one of my daddle peppers. It's in its own little container, which is really a one gallon container that Oh, uh, it probably has about three quarters of a gallon of soil in it. So it could probably be doing a lot of better. It's stretching some based on where I have it between two larger plants. So I need to move this one to, you know, get more sun or something. Anyway, this is the first of the daddle peppers. So it's uh, 
litter mates, <laughs> pepper mates, seed mates, are coming up next. Now these dental peppers, which are growing in a five gallon container, are doing better. They're not quite as leggy and they get more sun. And I love the looks of their leaves. Now this is a very, very hot pepper. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the fruit again. I'm going to try drying them and uh, using them in the winter for like chili or something. But this, these two are doing much better. Could be because they're in a larger container. Could be because they get more sun or a combination thereof. But this is, uh, this rounds out my hot dattle peppers. Here are two more of my small banana, not small banana peppers, excuse me, small grocery store peppers. So um, they're doing pretty well. And uh, we'll see what colors we get off of these because what I did is I, I had several different colors, the yellow, the orange, the red, and whatever. And I just mixed them up. So I don't know what color I'm going to get off of these plants should be interesting and here are my unknown peppers heaven only knows what these guys are um, as i said before i was planting a whole bunch of different pepper varieties and when i put everything all up i found two seeds left have no idea what these guys are but we'll see when they start fruiting here's another of the bills striped um, i have a, a holding place in my garage where I uh, had a lot of pepper starts and uh, yeah, I missed this one. <laughs> so it's a second of the Bill's um, striped peppers and it's you know, a little on the scrawny side looking, but it should be doing better because it's definitely looking better than when I planted it about a week ago. Now here's another one that I just planted. Um, this is a sweet daddle pepper. So this is a really, really tiny one. Again, it is no heat um, dattle pepper. I am hoping that this one will grow okay. It's the same deal as the Bill Striped. I found it and I decided that I better plant it in the garden before it totally died. I don't know that it's gonna be big enough to actually survive and um, well, survive probably uh, get fruits I don't know but I can always save it um, in the garage over winter and see what happens so once again this is the sweet daddle pepper hey do you recognize this little guy this is caterpillar remember how uh, scrawny and everything he looked when I showed it to you last time and I said let's take bets on whether this one gets uh, large enough to go ahead and produce fruit before first frost He's doing much, much better. So I'm confident that he will grow large enough. And if I have to, I can overwinter him in the garage. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens with Caterpillar. In the backyard now, and we have, um, these are the Yum Yum Hybrid Mix. So these are a few of the known hybrid uh, seeds that I've planted. These are going to be, again, these small peppers like you see in the grocery store. It'll be very interesting to compare this against the ones where I saved the seeds from the peppers in the grocery store. But these are Yum Yum Hybrid Mix. So mix being, I have no clue as to what colors they're going to be. Now these are the Super Heavyweight Hybrids. They are in a, I believe, five gallon container. I'm still waiting to be impressed by this guys or these guys. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the second plant as an example of what you do when you prune a pepper plant. So let's take a look at what he looks like right now. I'll do the video on pruning pepper plants and then we'll see what he looks like again in a few weeks. I know he is going ahead and starting some blossoms, but I'll forego a, forego a few blossoms because I've got the one right next to it. So let's see what they end up looking like in a couple more weeks. Finally in the backyard, we have a plant or two plants that I mistakenly called Brazilian or Bolivian rainbow last time. Uh-uh, these are Buena Mulatas in a five gallon container um, along with some holy basil. And ooh, look, I can see my first pepper on this. So these are going to be amazing to look at once they start really, really getting their peppers on it. 
and I may end up moving this out to the front because it'll be such a pretty, pretty plant and very decorative.